Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna test the hash rates of the Sapphire G Pro X060 mining specific GPU. Before we get started, a little bit about this graphics card. So it's built on Navi 23, and it's built specifically by Sapphire. And I'm over on Tech Power Up, and what I'm looking at is you can see the specs here, the boost clock crossed out, and a new value introduced here, which is minus 18%. So what's happening is this is comparing this mining card to the 6600. So the boost clock is lower, but the memory clock is higher, plus 14% which got me excited because that means, okay, this card should perform better on Ethereum, which is a memory hard algorithm. So I put it to the test. Is it going to perform better? Stay tuned and we're going to find out. We're going to move through this pretty quick. So Ethereum is what I'm mining right now. 29.42 mega hash is what is reported. And you can see in HiveOS the overclocks that I'm using as well. Now, measured in line, you can see the meter above me on the screen here. This is measured over the PCIe cable. So what is this GPU pulling? It's currently pulling 58 watts for that 29.42 mega hash. Ergo is up next, currently doing 57.49 mega hash, and I'm using the same exact overclocks I would use on Ethereum for this GPU. And in line, currently pulling 55, 56, up to 57 watts. Ravencoin and Firo is up next, doing 14.71 mega hash for overclocks. Everything is the same, but I had to boost the core up to 1200 to get some more hash out of this car. So since I had to boost that, that also means more power being drawn. So for that 14.71 mega hash, currently doing 65, 66, 63 watts in line over PCIe. Last up is Flux, currently doing 16.6 solutions per second. The overclocks are the same ones I was using on Ravencoin and Firo. So the core clock is boosted to give the extra performance on Flux's algorithm. And you're probably seeing the wattage at the wall is bouncing quite all over the place, going as low as what I've seen, 33 watts, as high as what I've seen out 53 watts. So really probably averaging out somewhere in the 40s for wattage for flux. What you're looking at right now is all of the results of all my testing. So those hash rates are entered in here, the power that the GPU is drawing and mining each algorithm. And then I've calculated the efficiency, which you can see right here. So in case you want to compare this to any other GPUs that you might be looking at, might be mining with, hopefully this is really useful information to you. So feel free to pause the video, screenshot this, come back to this, whatever you need to do in order to do some comparisons. Now that leads us to like the final question, like is it worth it to get this Sapphire X060 mining specific GPU over maybe getting an available RX 6600 or 6600 XT? Now I'm gonna do an in-depth comparison of this versus the 6600 in a future video. So please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. But like as of right now, it just, doesn't seem to be worth it. I mean, it pulls more power than the 6600s. Yeah, for a little more hash rate, but I'm really not seeing the gain in efficiency. In fact, it's a little less efficient than some of the cards I've compared it to. Though maybe it comes down to availability. You can buy these in some places in bulk. This is a GPU that is available. You could go to some sites and buy it right now. So I think it really depends on the state of things, what GPUs are easier to get, versus others and what are you more comfortable investing your money into but for me i'm not gonna be looking to buy any more of these the end hope you enjoyed the video hit the like button if you did subscribe to the channel for more gpu mining content join my discord if you want to chat the link is down in the description and as always please take care of yourself take care of each other and i'll see you in the next video